This past Sunday, I'd just come off the road, preached here at the church, had in a meeting with my executive management team after the church for several hours, got a call uh, that, that one of the young men, who, who, not one, the first person I sent here to Dallas when I still lived in West Virginia, and we had closed on the facility, and it was still Eagle's Nest, and I had to put boots on the ground to come in and, and work and pull it together, and I sent him down here by himself, and stayed gone for six weeks, and uh, I didn't write, I didn't text, we didn't text back then, I didn't call, I just told him to have it ready when I came, and, and uh, that young man this past Sunday was in the hospital in intensive care with pneumonia in both his lungs, fighting for his life, asking God to some kind of way uh, bring him through a test and a storm. That was last Sunday. And while I was getting ready to come down here to greet you, he walked in my office. Holloway Gray, would you stand up? Come here. This brother right here, they don't even make them like him no more. <laughs> it wouldn't have been right for us to celebrate 18 years of ministry and him not be here. So in spite of all, yeah, come on, Denise. <laughs> yeah, it, it, let me tell you, this, no, her name is Denise but I call her Wonder Woman. This girl is bad. She, she is so incredible. In fact, when I got a call from you that he was, when Denise says you're in trouble, you're in real trouble, because Denise don't holler for help until the building has burnt down <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> and she has stood by him. He's had how many eye surgeries? Five. Five eye surgeries, yeah. had kidney failure, yeah. kidney replacement. Kidney replacement. Then those kidneys failed. Yeah. Back on dialysis again. Right. And I had my left kidney removed. You had your left kidney removed. Because it had cancer on it. Because it had cancer on it. I lost two toes. He lost two toes. <laughs> pneumonia twice. Pneumonia twice. He had, he had pneumonia twice. He had pneumonia twice. And every day he's not sick, he's at work. Every day he's not terribly sick, he's at work. And, and on me, he traveled with me all over the world. I mean, we went all over the world together. And he told me, he said, I'm going to do one more trip with you, Bishop. I'm going with you one more trip. This young man came into on this property by himself. When I came down six weeks later, Holloway had a cell phone in each hand and, and a beeper. Yep. Yep. We called them pagers. Pagers, yeah. He had a pager and two cell phones, and he was trying to speak Spanish. He was ordering people around and moving all kind of stuff, and he got us in the building on time. And I, I, I'm so thankful for him. I'm so thankful. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something that you don't know. When you really got sick, when you first got really sick, because in, until he got sick, he, I have never seen anybody who stood by anybody like he stood by me ever in my life. I mean, people say, I got your back, but you know, they, they don't really have your back. All through my mother's illness, all through her being in the hospital, getting off the road, going straight to the hospital, staying till three or four o'clock in the morning, I cannot remember a time ever, and that went on for two years, that he ever left me, even when I was putting her in the ground, even when I was climbing around on the roof of this building trying to see what they were doing. Wherever I was, whatever I went through, he was always there. And I told the Lord when he got sick, 
I got in, it's one of the few times I ever got in God's face. I said, now look, if you expect me to do this, you got to give me Holloway back. <laughs> And the Lord did it. Yeah, he sure did. And to God be, sure. the glory God be the glory for the things he's done. Yeah. We love you, sir. Amen. Love you. Come on, Denise, get some of this hug. Holloway ain't jealous. Yes, sure. <laughs> Thank God for you. Come on, clap your hands.